Hi everyone, this is Mahesh Kamath, founder of MAK Trading School. Uh, in this video, I'll just give you an analysis of the Nifty index. So starting from the monthly time frame. So if you look at the previous resistance, the previous high, let me just mark that. So Nifty tried to uh, break out, but did not sustain above the previous resistance. So you are again seeing a sell off. And if you go down to a weekly time frame, so weekly it came back to a weekly demand zone. You have a rally base, rally demand zone from where Nifty had a reaction. And on the way down, when it approached the demand zone, there was a weekly supply form. So you have a drop base drop, weekly supply as well. So price oscillating between weekly supply and weekly demand. So when your zones are so close by on the higher time frame, so generally you can expect a sideways trending condition. So price is oscillating between weekly supply and weekly demand. So if you go down to a daily time frame, so price is making similar lows, similar highs. So we are in a sideways consolidation. So as a swing and positional trader, not uh, too many high probability opportunities at the moment, you would prefer a trending condition. Yes, in a sideways trend condition, low of the range is where one can go long and high of the range is where one can short but uh, personally i prefer a trending condition to trade uh, rather than trading in a sideways trending condition so if i go down to a 75 minute time frame so you will see in a sideways trend condition price came back to a drop base rally demand zone picked up the buy orders and gave you a nice reaction second time it came back again gave you a small reaction so you see every reaction every high is being a lower high so once a demand zone is tested so many times, generally it would give way or price can just go sideways. So for a swing positional trader, we need some clarity. We need to wait for either supply to be violated or a demand zone to be violated for the next move. Till then, one can plan intraday trades uh, on smaller time frames. And as of now, only opportunity that I can see is price coming back to this drop base rally on the 75 minute time frame around 17 840 that's where it can give you a small bounce till the next pivot high so an opportunity for a short term trade uh, is there around 17 840 stop loss below the pivot and the recent swing high can be the target for that short term long trade yeah so that was the view on uh, nifty so thank you friends